All right, joining me now, Senator Kevin Kramer, North Dakota. Senator Kramer, welcome back, sir. Can you weigh in on that? I mean, I'm reading this. Look, I, I might add the um, Senator Manchin's people were very uh, hospitable and cooperative to hashing through what's actually in this bill regarding what's called generation shifting, which means EPA does not have the authority to end fossil fuels uh, for power generation, whether it's, whether it's coal or natural gas. But, 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 um, although they are trying to tell me otherwise, it just sounds like Congress, well, at least in this bill, provides EPA with a lot more authority than they used to have uh, to regulate greenhouse gases, which I think is kind of a foot in the door, but you're an expert on this. What do you think? Well, you just had the real expert on in Andrew Wheeler, and I think the way he differentiated between authorities and appropriations is important, Larry, but it is nonetheless an incremental step in establishing some sort of an argument, perhaps an argument that could be used in a court in the future, that is Congress's intent to allow this shifting, even though there's no clear authority in it, there's an appropriation now for it. I, I, I intend to go after that $45 million for sure that, that you all were talking about that relates to, to the EPA or the... West Virginia versus EPA case specific to Section 111 and other sections, but there's a whole host of other appropriations that give the EPA weird authorities, quite honestly. I want to read one to you that's really important. There's a section on electric generation or on electric electricity generation that, that has 17 million for a whole bunch of different things. In other words, several times it's states 17 million. But here's an $18 million expenditure. That, I'm going to read it word for word and, and I'll emphasize it few key words. It's page 670 of the bill for those of you that want to read along. $18 million to carry out this section to ensure that reductions in greenhouse gas emissions from domestic electricity generation and use, that's you, Larry, use, mm. are achieved through the use of authorities of this act, including through the establishment of requirements under this act incorporating the assessment. Larry, in other words, they want to give somebody $18 million, I guess the EPA, to regulate the generation of electricity and the use of it. What does use mean? They want to re and use requirements in the authorities. Does that mean they want to require you to cut your showers shorter, at least the warm water? Do they want to require you to use a certain light bulb to buy a new expensive appliance um, to regulate the thermostat in your house? What are these requirements? And we ought to be very concerned to buy this power grab as well as obviously the spending. Well, I mean, what do you think? I mean, look at, let's step back for a minute. All this sure. legislative minutia. Yeah. There's nothing changing here. This bill is completely part of the war on fossil fuels. Yes, Only this time it's worse because they want to jack up seven or eight hundred billion worth of taxes along with it, right. which boggles the mind. I mean, you know, that's to me that what you got here is two, two hundred fifty, three hundred billion dollars of social spending for Obamacare, by the way, for families that don't need it. You got a that's gigantic right. tax hike, which will make the recession worse. Uh, there is That's no right. inflation reduction, but you have a war against fossil fuels, which along with the federal spending might well make inflation worse in the future. I mean, to me, that's what's the essence of this, uh, of this bill. Other than that, it's a great bill, yeah, Larry. Right. Yeah, right. I know. Besides uh, that, uh, Mrs. Uh, Lincoln, uh, what did you like about the play? <laughs> yeah, I know. I get that. Yeah, exactly. I get that. It's just off. But you're, you're exactly right. And, and they may very well succeed at this. It, you know, it's, uh, as you know, it comes down to Kirsten Cinema at this point. So they may well, very well succeed, except for this. You and others are sounding the alarm. Guys like me and my 49 closest friends in the United States Senate are sounding the alarm, and we're preparing with a whole host of amendments that we'll bring to the floor, and we'll force people like Joe Manchin to correct course if they're willing to do that. And, and I'm telling you, Larry, I, my goal is to make it darn uncomfortable for Democrats to either vote for this package or to not vote for some of the amendments that help clean some of this stuff up. Well, look at, you know, not to put too fine a partisan point on it, but since I want to kill the yeah. bill, it's, it's well, no Well, it's shot. a partisan bill. That's yeah. all it is, right. It's a partisan bill. That's exactly right. It was sprung on the GOP at the last minute after the CHIPS uh, Plus vote. But That's the thing right. is, every race, every Senate race, every House race, I don't care, governors, whatever, Newt Gingrich has mm -hmm. made this point in his newsletter. Republicans should confront Democrats about where they stood on this bill and on the provisions. 
the tax provisions, the social spending provisions, the anti-fossil fuel provision, because Senator Kramer, and polls I've seen, folks do not want this. They don't want it. Well, even if they think they want it, Larry, when they see their inflation go higher, when they see the price at the pump go higher, the price of food go higher, when they see that they're going to have to start rationing their food, when they're going to have to, you know, start rationing uh, their travels, uh, which is already happening, when you see personal credit, personal debt going up to 16, 17 trillion dollars as people max out their credit cards just to pay the bills. That's going to have a negative effect on, on Election Day for Democrats. The problem is between now and Election Day, we have to hold these people to account. And that's the point you're making that's very important. That's what we're going to do when we have the voterama, when we offer up our amendments, when we force the debate, when we require Democrats to explain themselves on this stuff. But it's also why Chuck Schumer did this so quickly. It's why they, they did it right after, to your point, right after the chips vote and why they want to get this done before the weekend's over because they don't want Democrats to go home before they vote on this because they're going to get an earful when they do. You know, he wants to get right. Uh, yes to that. So he doesn't even want to let the CBO score it over 10 year right. periods because he knows that's, that's right. going to look like a horror show. That's and it is. Fact. I mean, some of this stuff is just crazy. Anyway, Senator Kevin Kramer, thank you, sir. As always, illuminating the issue. We appreciate it.